Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Webmin on a Mac. Webmin is a um, web-based Unix administration so you can um, manage your Mac from afar. Um, so basically you would go to webmin.com and you would click this little downloads tab and you would download webmin.tar.gz um, that's the format we want to use so after you've downloaded that and I've already downloaded it, it's here in my downloads folder as you can see it's right here we're going to go to our terminal so once we're in our terminal um, we would type in uh, the path of the path to where we've um, placed the um, tar.gz where we've downloaded it to so I'm gonna CD to my desktop and once I'm there I'm gonna CD to my um, downloads folder and once I'm there I can do an LS and I can see what's there and as you can see we have webmin um, dash one dot uh, 370.tar.gz. So what we want to do now is we want to type in um, tar minus xvv zf um, and then the name of the file which is webmin dash one dot three seven zero dot tar.gz so once we type in that you can as you can see the text is going across the screen and it's untarring it um, so we kinda just have to wait here for a while as it properly untars it if that's the correct term but alright now that it's done we can cd into or actually we should ls now we see that we have a folder there now we need to cd into that folder and so we do cd web min dash one dot three seven zero and now that we're in there we type in um, dot slash set up um, set up dot sh I believe space uh, slash use oops user usr slash local slash webmin and normally at this point you would hit enter and you would accept all the defaults but I've already installed the webmin so um, accept the defaults and then at the end it'll ask you for a username and password or yeah username and password and um, you can choose whatever you want for those and then I'll ask you if you want it to start up on boot or not and normally I would just hit yes for that um, so at this point we can quick quit terminal um, and then we can go to our uh, favorite web browser so if we go to our web browser since we're already on the computer that it was installed on we can just type in um, localhost and then port um, 10,000 and then we'll get a page very similar to this and we type in our username and password And here we are. It's a, um, like I said, a, a web-based administration to any Unix machine. And now we have it installed on our Mac. So um, basic uh, rules of using this don't give out your password because this is a very powerful tool and you don't want people, unauthorized people, being able to use this. Um, so under webmin you can do some basic webmin things. Under system is more where you can do cron jobs and schedule commands and all sorts of fun stuff there. Um, Unix stuff. Um, mo mainly, uh, or not mainly, but a good thing you can do with this is you can go to others and then you can go to command shell. And here you can do any of the commands in the terminal from afar. And another fun thing is, let's see, where is it? file manager and after it loads for a second here um, we can browse all of our files 
Um, and then if we are from afar and we're at our work or school or wherever, we can go to a file. Let's say, I don't know. Let's say I wanted to download this file right there. Then I could hit the save button. And I'll take a second, but then it'll give us a nice little um, download. And then we hit OK to save the disk. And then we can save it. But I'm already on the computer and I don't need to do that. Um, some other fun things you can do are, let's see, um, manage your firewall, do some SSH tunnels, um, you can cluster some things if you want to. Um, you can run servers from afar like a proxy server or, or manage your proxy server. Uh, manage your Apache web server. Anyway, whatever you feel like doing. But um, now that this is installed, you have a lot of power and you can do it from anywhere. If you have a local server, you can manage it, right? Um, local Mac server, you can manage it from, I don't know, anywhere in your house or anywhere in the world for that matter. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.